Master Sergeant Cedric King has been in the Army for nearly 20 years, including 10 years as an elite Army Ranger. He served one tour in Iraq and two more in Afghanistan. And on his last deployment, he was propelled into the fight of his life. In 2012, while leading a platoon on a mission in Afghanistan, Cedric was wounded when he stepped on an IED. His injuries were so severe that doctors put him into a medically induced coma and he was sent to Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. And when he regained consciousness, Cedric realized that his toughest battle was about to begin. July 25th, 2012, I got blown up in Afghanistan. I remember waking up six or seven days later and seeing my mom and my wife at the hospital. My wife said they had to take your legs away. I've had low moments to where I feel like it'd be better if I just died that day. But my heart was saying, hey, man, you have so much good to give. If you can just get out of this hospital bed, you could probably be pretty inspiring to other people, man. Keep fighting. 26 months and three days after losing my legs, I am completing a half an Ironman, 70.3 miles. Cedric has a burning desire that I haven't seen in a lot of people, that he's got to do this. I probably could have done this before, but I didn't believe it enough. I'm not supposed to be swimming 1.2 miles with no legs, but guess what? I'm gonna do it. Growing up, I was a kid that was picked on. I saw my environment, and you know, I being a prisoner to it because that's all I see. In the military, I learned that possibilities in life are what you create, what you choose to see. But I met failure time and time and time and time and time again. Geared up, here we go. Most triathletes go through a very extensive training. Cedric can't do that. Cedric has a condition where his bone matter is still growing through his muscle tissue. And literally for you and I, that feels like you're walking on glass. I learned that I could be doggedly persistent about something that I want in life. He's not looking back, he's only looking forward. But I did not know that I was going to need that toughening for an experience that I will have down the road. I cannot tell you how much more fire my freaking legs are right now. He's missing his right hamstrings. He can only use his quadriceps, and that is a painful situation to be in. I learned that disappointment is going to come, but this is how you deal with it. He's basically running off into the abyss. He has no idea what's gonna happen. We're gonna take it as it comes. I want to send a message to those guys that meant to hurt me. Instead of hurting me, you made me better. I know in my heart I've given everything I've got right now. Instead of taking my legs away, you gave me so much more to live for. This is just Cedric. There's nothing that's ever held him down before. None of this was going to stop him moving forward. It hurts bad. It hurts real bad. You can take my hands, you can take my eyes, you can take my hearing. The thing you cannot take away from me is that spirit inside of me that wants to win. That's something that little boy that used to get picked on didn't know. I had a chance to meet Cedric at the White House last year and see his courageous spirit firsthand. In so many ways, Cedric embodies the incredible resilience and strength of all of our wounded warriors. And so we owe it to these heroes to show just a tiny fraction of their commitment and service to this country with service of our own. So let's all join forces with heroes like Cedric, and together we can serve them as well as they've served us.